more places begin to slowly reopen, there are still a few that aren't so lucky, like nursing homes. In order to keep residents safe, a majority of nursing homes across the country and here in the tri-state have shut their doors to visitors, leaving many to have to get creative. 13 News reporter Lily Bradley joins us now live in the studio to explain. Jennifer, many at long-term care facilities or nursing homes have gone months without talking to their loved ones face-to-face -face because of COVID-19. So one Ohio nursing home is getting creative, thinking outside of the box with a brand new box outside. The front door of Edgewood Manor in Wellston, Ohio, is plastered with signs that read no visitors. That is inside of the building. I like that lady across the hallway. Nobody said anything about outside. I try to come over several times a week during normal times. Nancy Tolbert frequents Edgewood Manor to visit her Aunt Eula, affectionately known as Aunt Dude. But times are anything but normal, so that's where the visitation station comes into play. Best thing would be for them to be able to give their loved one a hug. Uh, obviously with the coronavirus around, that's not going to happen for a while. So this was the solution and it, it's worked out very well. The station was built by the center's maintenance director. I'm going to say in about four hours time, he had it built. It's a simple design and a simple concept. A few pieces of plywood, some plexiglass, and you're good to go. Residents like Aunt Dude sit on one side while their families sit on the other. I'll try it myself. How's that? Since there's only one visitation station, Vogel says family members can call the center and they'll schedule a time. He says it gives the residents something to look forward to. With Eula, the aides this afternoon were back there fixing her hair and everything, you know, and I mean, they, she wanted to look good for, for this event. <laughs> but she didn't look good. She looked great. I'm just thankful that I can come and see her. This is awesome. I mean, this is wonderful because we needed this. Proof that a little fresh air and thinking outside of the box oh, you. You know that, don't you? can make all the difference. Now, Aunt Dude turns 88 years young next month. She says she's looking forward to many more visits with her niece. Now, as for the staff at Edgewood, they say they will keep the box up as long as social distancing must continue. Live in the studio, Lily Bradley, 13 News, working for you. Lily, thanks so much. What a great idea. Meanwhile,